Hi everyone, this is my um, fourth video of immersive crack tech um, and uh, now I will uh, I have enough materials to build uh, the windmill um, we have enough materials to build, build the windmill blade itself I also have a little infrastructure materials to deliver the power to here um, the one thing I will also do is um, build my uh, smelter so it's with uh, this and this so we need a file um, could actually make one out of aluminium to save the copper um, so it's to uh, I need a file and a chisel I think um, a file is two plates I also want some sticks so with the hammer I'm gonna make one two three four five six um, and then it's like this the wrench the wrench will give me the ability to um, make the smelter so this it's not the most powerful one but it's a start so that one goes here so um, file uh, which is used for making rods but actually that's not needed it's the chisel but I think I need a file to make a chisel so um, and also let's burn this I have enough wood so that won't be a problem now I also build some extra furnaces to m to uh, do some extra melting like this hardened clay which is which I needed for the low voltage wire connector and the lo uh, yeah for this for this I only only needed copper metal um, okay I could also save I think I'm gonna use the steel I do not need uh, steel is easier to make than aluminium of aluminium um, and I, s uh, I also managed to get some food from my uh, crops so I don't need to go back and forth to hunt for food um, okay so chisel um, for see I need a file to make a chisel so let's do that um okay so is a file again made just two plates on a stick here we go file with a very decent durability which is nice and then one plate um no um might need a uh, minimum I won't use copper um, so it's not a big deal um, so one plate oh look at this mm, nice and then um, a rod so actually this normally this is an int Tended, but I guess it's because of immersive engineering and the fact that it uses aluminium because with steel it's also possible to do that 
it's copper it's not it gives something else as you can see from the rock handling mod but okay um, I'm gonna make it there are, uh, are my sticks uh, really my sticks are gone already damn I didn't watch that um, damn Okay, that's then they are gone already. Damn. You see they um are used up very fast. Okay, that's um quite decent durability, not as decent as steel, but it's the same as obsidian. So that's um quite good actually. Um, so now I need my hammer and my chisel and this, uh, no, that does not belong there, all metals go back here, the wood can go here eventually, um, so now I need a crucible which is made by this and a mold which is made by this. Actually I want two of them. Voila. Two molds. That's good. Um okay. Let's uh, take iron here. Keeping things a bit tidy, uh, a bit uh, organized. Um organized is the best word. I think language is not my best point, so bear with me. Um, that's one. Damn, that's slow. used to that slowness anymore because of my other map that pickaxe is way faster the metallurgy pickaxe of Inua's lit so this is a setup and for iron I need um, seven magnetite and three dark ashes but um, I'm first going to melt some oh wait but that gives stone also um, so it's not the best idea so I will use leads not all nine but four of them to increase the weight um, let's remove this real quick Um, you go here, you also, and you go here. Um, so now the magnetite and the lead of uh, the weight of the lead will make sure the temperature does not rise fast enough and will give me the chance to get dark ashes, which I need to make the iron so now it's working um, I could use the stone resources but um, then I need a place mold first and I first want ingots fast to make the windmill so I'm first gonna do that And this one is also very, very slow. Very slow. Hmm, I might also do the bismuth. Yes, bismuth is also okay to do. Um, because they do not alloy with the uh, iron. If I remember correctly. So let's 
um, combination smelting the only thing that alloys with is antimony so there is no danger that you lose iron because it alloys with lead metal so this is my first pile of dark ash um, I have that will probably already be um, liquid but I need one um, I need um, one unit and this is um, 0 point point one one one. so I will need 9 to get one full unit of the Arkashes. After um, the point, the melting point is almost at its um, highest. I will need to use wood because it's uh, more fine tuned than coal because that um, you can shut shut off those uh, burners. So yeah, I will need to use um, a fuel that burns not so long like this one. Coal has a higher burning time of um, one point, almost two thousand. So yeah, it's the crushed coal uh, burns even longer than normal coal. So yeah thing to watch out with um, I got um, four now so I'm gonna do one extra it's very likely it will be almost uh, liquid so I'm gonna keep my Galena dust at hand in case um, it should become um, liquid so I can uh, cool it on time it's, it's the adventure it, uh, it's an advantage on that point to use a uh, LED um, burning box it has the slowest burning time so you have time to intervene to uh, cool the crucible or well, cool the contents in the crucible so it does not uh, overheat oh but I see a little oh okay but it already has a cooling function oh boy that's a little oh I didn't notice that's um, let's boil that um, 1850 degrees if that happens I just die so um, it will all it will boil before the iron um, gets so no no I still need those dusts so I'll, I'll, I already already um, burnt like three of um, so let's do one more okay The boiling radius extends to 5 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I stand here, there won't be danger. But uh, once it's boiled, and if I throw it again, then it will um, boil again, and I'll die. I will die. Um, but I could also... Oh, that was not... Okay, that's better. Um, copper, for example, boils at a higher melting point, 
but I do not know if it's um, alloys with um, iron, zinc, it's a special one, um, I do not see iron, so copper is actually better. Almost edits, so let's cool it a bit. Um, another one, so that's good. The, the advantage is if I die, I just spawn here on my bed. I can actually watch it from here if I want but um, that's not um, the goal no liquid yet so Let's cool it a bit further, there is still space for the dark ashes. The best thing to do is make your dark ashes um, liquids. Um, make your uh, magnetite liquid first and then throw in dark ashes. And then heat with food. And you don't have a heat um, uh, a heat um, meter that's um, highly advised ok now I do have enough so I'm gonna craft it dark ashes that will give me exactly one iron out of that magnetite um, so what I do want to do now um, the lead should be liquid so let's look if there are ok there are two that's nice um, now I should just heat with wood I will do three, three of them And now let's um, be careful, they are cold enough, that's good, let's look, oh another one, they do give, give off a lot of lead it seems. The result is that it will heat a, li a little bit faster now. can use lead to make additional uh, smelters after that so you see now you get an other kind of ash you get normal ash not a dark ash so to make iron you need um, fossil fuels actually um, to say that at the start at the start because once you have an electrolyzer, I think. Oh no, no, it's a centrifuge. You can make carbon dust. So um, with advanced machines, um, okay, I'm gonna take three again. See, it's a very slow process. It will probably spawn spend one video just doing that I probably I'm better to upgrade to a bronze smelter first because that will be a little bit more um, rewarding I make the process a little bit faster that bronze one will come here then um, so I will need to um, 
replace one uh, one of the molds with a plate mold which is actually not hard to make why a plate mold why not use this because um, it only works with four metals it only works with copper tin um, steel and iron oh wait that's actually something else it's a mixture of tin and iron so um, okay I did not see that at first um, tin alloy hmm is that a bit cheating or not? Hmm. That um, gives me some possibilities actually because I just could uh, use that to make a steam engine early game if I want. I mean not so early game because the progress is limited by iron. So now it's liquid, so now I have to throw in the dark ash, like this, then use two wood blocks instead of three, so um, you do not get rocked iron, because rocked iron does not work for making uh, copper wire coils and such. So now it's liquid and now I um, will make the iron. So now I have iron, I've made my first iron with the smelter. Nice. Very nice. Um, but with iron you have to wait a little bit longer than with lead. And one dark ash equals one iron, so to make more iron, I'm gonna need more dark ash. So, for example, copper ore, but I'm first. Gonna get some plates, not first. So, this might come here. I need a hammer and a chisel and some clay again. So now I'm gonna make a plate mold. Okay, let's do the plate mold um, yeah, that I need. This also. Plate mold is chiseling all all pieces so you can do it faster because you don't need to look so everything is chiseled so now you can check it up in uh, the inventory this mold produces plates nice excellent so if I want to make some copper plates for example to um, save on uh, materials, I do one, two, three, four. But also, you saw some uh, liquids in the thing that's stone. That's also why you need um, the plates actually, um, because um, it's the only way to. Um, to remove the stone and you will need to rem uh, to remove the stone because it um, uses up space and when you do iron it can evaporate at, uh, at uh, 2000 degrees and sometimes it's highly possible that you will reach that uh, level of heat so now, oh. I have three um, 
iron ingots so I can easily make um, the generator what's this cupro nickel but I cannot make it but I can make this but I need one more iron yes so um, what I want to do um, let's remove that stone already and also um, let's do this yep stone plate this could be useful for some st stuff um, like a sword plate it's not much more powerful than a um, um, flint sword but it's something and I could also make a knife to um, make this for example or to uh, make some toma tomato slice so you can do some things with it it's not useless and later on um, oh damn no, that was not meant to happen. No, definitely not. Why that needs to happen? Why? Because uh, I was. Oh, come on, burn, please. Don't waste my durability. Tin plate, so throw it back in. Throw this also back in. So, voila. So is um, a Dutch word. I'm just piling up some dark ashes to make the iron, some extra iron. But now I can already make the dynamo. So I'm gonna make that already. So like this the ammo. So that is one thing I need and this will make it possible to set up the infrastructure. Oh it keeps being solid for a long time. Okay. But that's okay if it heats up uh, slowly. That's uh, not an issue. I think when it stops, oh, that's perfect. And I can remove all stone very quickly. Very, very quickly. So that's perfect. And then get some bronze. Um, five dark ashes. So remove. Okay, that's heavier than stone, so it goes first. Nothing to do about that. Nothing. Let's wait a bit. Good. If I'm too fast, I will get damage. Not good. Not good. Um, let's put it with metals in here. Um, food, food, tomato soup. Where rain? I don't want rain. Please stop. Yes. Luckily I have a bed so I can stop the rain. That's the best feeling ever. Because the rain is just so <laughs> irritating sometimes. Okay. Um, let's um, do this. Stone plates. Um, For what are they useful? I um, 
will need them later to make gears and I will need to make a lot of gears um, for um, some machines like Boltcraft it's this gear for example um, they, um, the build in Boltcraft gear you need a stone gear and four of the bars to make the metal hmm. um, you need um, four bars to make the metal gear this art even more different around an iron but this apply the same as a uh, build craft so in most cases you can use a stone gear for um, to make other gears so the most frequent used metals metal gear co bronze copper t t t t t tin iron and gold diamond is not so much used but that's more end game and you don't need per se stone you can smelt gold directly but for iron this is very useful because um, iron is easier to melt into ingots or plates where you need one unit of the metal damn it goes faster than I can heat it. Okay, but um, in this video I showed the metal melting process um, of uh, Gerechtig mostly. I made this little. Uh okay, now it's melted. Oh was a glitchy um, behavior behavior um, let's take some extra wood um, wait I do need one more thingy and it's this okay so now it should okay all stone is gone oh so that that is what happens when you pull out too fast. You lose health. So that's um, not a great idea to do. Now I just place them, but I will remove them later. So the windmill is supposed to come here. So I will do this. No, no, I want my windmill to be visible from the sea. So like there. And then the machine is up here. So the rolling machine. So I'm gonna connect. Um, let's do one here, so let's connect another one, um, now it's a bit um so one need to come here like this um it won't be so easy easily done in this case so here yes um I'm gonna try, let's hope it's not obstructed, sadly yes it's obstructed, um, hmm. I um, can
can do this, I think. And then to here, like this. And um, so let's fill it up that it looks a bit more realistic. Like this. Uh, and also fill up that holes. I don't want mobs to spawn in my castle. Okay, so that has been done. Um, the junk, uh, are the wood blocks? look a little by junk because they don't fit um, I will remove later so the foundation of the windmill has now been uh, installed and I hope in the next episodes um, I will um, place it I'm not far from it, I have uh, five piles, we'll uh, make the other, um, the other plate with this, real quick, um, just to show as example, yep, now I have four, so I just need one iron to build it and um, power will then be transferred to this uh, rolling machine and I don't need to use fuel in that case which is uh, fantastic so that will be for the next video um, this was the iron smelting part uh, which is also interesting actually because um, the most um, this is one of the few Gregtech videos there is um, the other ones are from a uh, bear which, uh, which are very good uh, f videos I, I learned much, much of, the, of that uh, of his videos I'm grateful uh, for that I um, have to um, I guess I'm almost at my 30 minutes but I'm actually close to getting iron so maybe I will the video will be extra long but um, it's okay actually it's okay um, and I should have copper already because the magnetite is lighter than copper metal so beneath that should be copper copper but um, the copper acts as a um, temperature regulator ok food refilled um, I don't have much food options at the moment um, still solids um, but 7 so I'm close to it actually and then, then I could place a windmill so uh, very nice uh, I will make a new X in the me uh, meantime I got also um, delete some parts of the video but I'm not going to do that because uh, I want to show how um, hard this 
this process is and if I uh, delete some parts of it you won't see it um, I'm now gonna not gonna use coal ore since I have dark ashes since I don't want to lose my crucible or get evaporated materials um, which will kill me not a great idea and I also I should no no copper yet it's so low oh. so it's not it has not even reached um, 30 uh, thousands 30 seven five fifty degrees actually so I could perfectly use coal again unless nope so let's use one coal again um, now this video will be very long maybe I just split it in two videos it takes a lot of time to melt at first um, let's see now I am at the copper melting point so this will speed it a little bit faster yes That's good on copper plates. Um, after that, I will replace it again with no, no. I still need plates for a bronze smelter because I can't make it with that. Um, I have only two steel left. Okay, let's make another copper plate good it should be almost to liquid iron um, let's take two copper plates and now copper ingots still um, a liquid uh, a solid I will make it go a little bit faster with this later on you can optimize this with hoppers and uh, redstone um, contraptions which will make it um, more efficient on fuel also because then you can directly um, uh, you can always supply fuel with hoppers take out the ashes and um, your crucible won't lower it uh, won't cool uh, down because okay it's done it's done it's done I'm on the level of iron no, so that's good. Very good. So I can build the windmill. Yes. Object objective or objective achieved. Finally, <laughs> you see how long it takes. Um, to make that stuff but um, it's worth it because um, I don't want me to use uh, fuel for all kinds of stuff because later on I can also hook it up to other machines and um, to um, um, 
think. Um, capacitors, for example, or uh, let's tune um, cells like this. Uh, these are not the blocks, but um, they also have um, a function to store power. This, for example, can also be used. Um, this, but this is a uh, more advanced stuff which you need tons of iron for to make. These are um, the best to use at the start, I think. Capacitor bank. Uh, oh no, no, not this, sorry. Um, this one is the best to start with. Lead, copper, 3 iron, 1 redstone, 3 that wood. That um, stores a decent amount of redstone flux. So yeah. Um, okay, now let's place that windmill. Let's go here. Because I do want to place it um, there. This needs to be broken down and this needs to be placed. Uh, I need to get closer I think. Why it doesn't work? It's impossible. That's also not possible. Normally it should be there actually. It can be on another place like there or like here. That's not damn. I need to break it off again. does not work. That's strange. Hmm, very strange. Let's try this. Oh yes, now it works, finally. Uh, okay, that is a little consequence. Um, I should be able to connect it still. So here and there, yes. Power to my base. So now that uh, the objective is achieved, um, we'll just show you how um, my machine is loaded with power. So it's fully loaded with power. Nice. So now I'm. Um, I will close the. I will stop with recording because I guess it's a very long video by now. So uh, see you later, guys. Bye.